guys ever worn a scarf as a top? No. <laughs> now you are. <laughs> but I found this really cool one. Um, so let me share my screen. It's like an actual top. We're setting ourselves up to fail. They look so cute. I'm not gonna be this good. I think it could go either way. It's either gonna be really good or really bad. I think this seems the scariest of all of them so far. Nips, like you're just, your top could just fall down. <laughs> yeah, I have high hopes for this, but I guess obviously it didn't work out well, so well last time. I just don't think it's gonna be comfortable nor easy to wear. <laughs> I think we can make it look really cute, style it. I think the second I start moving, it's gonna be. One boob here, one boob out there. We'll, we'll wear it and see what happens. So here is the very large scarf that I ordered off of Amazon. I didn't want to, but I had to for time's sake so it would get here on time for this video. An idea blossomed in my mind that I would do like this very 2000s cheetah girl style top, complete with hair and makeup. I tried to do it very 2000s today to fit the aesthetic and I'm very into this vision so I kind of want to make it come to life. So I have a bunch of scarves. Um, I went through my grandma's closet and she actually had a lot of options. Um, so here they are. This was the scarf I was originally thinking of. I forget where I got it, but I like the colors. It's very fun. Um, and I think it's the right size because it's definitely longer than my waist. So it'll definitely fit around me. But then I saw my grandma has this one. I might go with this because I think this will look really cute and like an actual top, you know? I'm getting much more excited to try out this challenge now because this is my scarf and I think it's adorable. I feel like this will fit well into the rest of my wardrobe. So if this challenge actually works out, I could wear this all the time. Two options here. Try not to get them tangled. One's a little bit thicker. One has like actually a little bit of a rope design, which might go really nicely. Um, and then this one's just kind of like a traditional chain to hold up the scarf. Cause I'm not sure if it matters how thick the chain has to be. So I guess we'll find out. So we're just gonna like go through these and see which one could possibly work. <gasps> Wait, I'm looking at this star one right here right now and I'm already a little bit obsessed with that one. So we might've already made our decision. So I snuck into my parents' room successfully. They're gonna be pretty mad if they see that this is on the internet somewhere cause it's not clean, but sorry. Okay. This could be cool. I think this will go really well with my scarf because it has a little like blue and it has gold. Maybe it will be a little Yannick from Irene and Nico's. And I'm also just gonna get excited about it because I don't really have any other options, so. <laughs> so this end, this end to this end. And we're going to make a little knot. Oh, oh, oh. All right, that looks good enough to me. It's like super tight. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So now, oh, do you see my little Cheetah Girls inspired manicure? Ooh. Oh, look at this. Uh, there's not much space on the end of the knot, so it's a pretty tight knot. Okay. I don't know how big it's supposed to be. I think we're gonna, we're gonna make it smaller just to be safe. I feel like that gives us more room to play with. I don't know, that might be wrong. We'll find out. This is now too small as a choker. So we're abandoning already, we're abandoning this. This one looks like a medium length. I feel like it'll fit through here. So loop. Okay. That looks promising. So I guess, I don't know if you were, they weren't really clear in the TikTok if you were supposed to like loop this in. It was all really fast, but I'm just gonna put it like this and then I guess this goes on me. It's probably gonna look crazy, but who knows? I guess I just put it through here, right? 
You slide it through and there you go. That's like the top. Oh my God! <gasps> Wait, this could be really cute. Do you see? I do, am I still filming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, where's my checks? Uh, no, I look like I'm gonna go eat lobster or something. Oh no. So I can't even get my necklace on. <laughs> to be fair, this is like not a normal clasp. It's like a very old fashioned one. Okay, got it. Oh. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna put the necklace on first, like a little bib. And I would try to get it like tighter. Oh! Oh god, wait, that choker is choking me a little too hard. Yeah, that's too long. Okay, abort necklace number two. We returned to the blue necklace. I'm staying positive. I think I can get this back on track. something a little bit genius. Oh, I can see the vision. Okay, wait. <gasps> and then I would just tie it like back there. Oh, look a little. Oh my God. This is literally the best hack ever because it's like two steps and it doesn't require any scissors. Oh. <gasps> Fashion. <laughs> oh. This is kind of an arm workout, which makes sense because you know they have those workouts with like the rubber bands and stuff. That kind of feels like what I've been doing all day. How to tie? I don't know how to tie knots other than just like a basic knot, so it's not gonna look necessarily pretty or fancy, but it's gonna work. Well, obviously. I put this on for modest reasons, but I'm gonna try and take the tank top and bra off and then just check how it actually looks and if I'm actually being covered. Um, so the like material is so thin and mine happens to be like slightly sheer, so it didn't look good. Um, but luckily I did find a strapless bra, so I actually am loving how it's looking here. The only problem is But I'm gonna try to tie this and see if I can tie it over my bra so that it's hidden better. It definitely worked a little better. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> wow, we all look really good, that's what I think. <laughs> okay. You guys look so cute. I love these. I love these tops. Oh my God. I, like, I don't know what to look at. I'm like, <laughs> this watercolor pa pattern is so cute. I love it. It turned out just how I wanted it. It's so cute. I mean, you look rich. <laughs> you look like yourself. I'm gonna be rich daughter and try to <laughs> adopt me. Give me your handbag. Oh my God, Nico, I'm obsessed. You got the two thousands vibe to a T. It came out more scary spice, but I was like, yeah, I'm into that too. See, I love things that I feel like we just kind of like we don't look like we did the same DIY. We look like we were all just like, let's all get halter tops and meet up. I will say the only limitation that I feel like I have with this, you either have to be like pro no bra, which good for you. I wish I could be that. Or you have to have a strapless bra that you feel comfortable showing. Um, how was it wearing it outside for you guys? Because I thought it was actually really comfortable. Like, I was more just annoyed being in the heat in general. Like, I just don't like being outside. But, like, the top itself, I was surprised. Like, the silk seemed actually like a good material. Like, I didn't sweaty or anything. It was fine. Like, it felt like I had nothing on. It held up pretty well. I mean, as much as you can ask for fabric in, like, 90-degree July weather. I think that I actually got pretty hot. I was hot outside. It doesn't feel breathable of materials and it was a hot scorcher of a day when I went outside. Um, but it didn't move at all, which I was really impressed with. These look really, really good, you guys. I'm very impressed with this work. 
<laughs> compared to how some of our other ones have gone. The last one. This is probably like our area where we should stay yeah. in terms of DIY. <laughs> Simple, uh, no sharp objects. No cutting. No cutting. No. I shouldn't show you the ones we have lined up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I mean. Hello. Yeah. Hi, yes. Don't mind us. We're not in the middle of anything. <laughs> Why did that literally sound like prison mic on the phone? <laughs>